Letters, 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 letters for the 15th of March, 2019. Uh, Text to Sturgis <laughs> writes, Hey, you finally found my babe, Casey. That's right, Casey Roman. That's right, I'm enjoying her channel. It's very good. Um, T-Bird, 725, did you notice Angela's ring did nomadic get engaged? Well, he has put on his channel that she is his fiancé. So, I guess they are. Rustifer writes, this is the first I've heard of uh, this, but isn't it poetic justice? Looks like stickers. Yeah, remember Nomadic Fanatic stickers? Well, Sticker CFI now is what they're calling the channel. What he's calling the channel is now he begging. Something Stickers has uh, ridiculed Nomadic Fanatic for for about for years. Karma, it's a double-edged sword. It is funny to see certain YouTubers coming out against certain things and then they end up doing it too. Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's really strange, huh? <laughs> oh, I've got to hear from Gus in a bus. I'm Gus, and I live in a bus. That's right. Uh, nice to see you watching a few of my uh, Sesame Street videos. LOL. Uh, Catherine uh, McCann also likes Casey Roman. I've been watching Casey Roman. Her videos are smart, witty, and interesting. She has a wholly different perspective. Extremely entertaining. I'm not Chuck, right? It's apparently a wayward man is short on shirts as well. That's right. He doesn't have the $5,000 to get his um, van fixed. And he doesn't have, I guess, you know, the 20 or 30 bucks to go down and buy a pack of t-shirts at Walmart. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, you're wondering where I am. Yeah, I'm in the, uh, back to the laundry room. That's right. I always find the laundry room, right? Yeah, this is a nice one. Look at this. We got Tandale here, but this is the Mountain Fresh version of it. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, Tandale is everywhere. That's right. Uh, San Bruno Beacon writes, Newsflash, has Camo Dave been hired as Nomadic Fanatic and Angela's cat herder? Are they now heading to Georgia to pick up Camo Dave and his cat herding gear? Uh, Eric can replace the bunk bed with a large cage where Camo Dave can live with the kittens. Well, you know, he does have room for a big cage now, so I don't know, maybe... Good flyer, Kevin, Camper Van Kevin, needs to keep those content dogs alive. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Just saying. <laughs> uh, Reral, Camo Day Reviews. What a great way to start my day. Thank you, Reral. Mr. Earth, hey Dave, your new slogan should be I beg so you don't have to. Happy fr Free to Z Dave. Happy Free to Z Dave. Peace, Sister Earth. Yeah, I should do that. I should start e-begging for other people. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I mean, the poor guy, you know, a wayward man, needs some money for his repairs. I don't know. Send him some money. Send me money. I'll forward it to him. <laughs> a little cutout for myself, obviously. I don't know. Pam on the Lamb is a very interesting person. She, we were talking about JT. He's that guy that used to talk a lot about Nomadic Fanatic years ago. And I always was under the assumption that maybe he was some sort of a relative, like an uncle or something, and which he's denied. But he was in Washington State, too. Uh, anyway, Pam on the Lamb writes, It's not easy keeping track of JT, but he does, in fact, have a baby lion living in his townhouse in Washington State. He is the most most interesting man in the world. You think so, Pam? Tracy Swanson, I think she's writing about a wayward man. He better hit the stripper stage to raise that cash. You know, he probably could. He probably could. Shimei writes, uh, Dave, can you e-bag a service geezer for me? I need a service geezer in New Jersey. Well, I got the perfect one for you. Mr. Rod Sturgis. That's right. He only lives a couple counties away from you, Shimei, and I'm sure he would be more than happy to come over and help you out with any service geezer needs you have. That's Rod Sturgis. Oh, yeah. Nomadic Dullard writes, Funny, every RV I've bought from a dealer, they went through all the systems before I took delivery. Yeah, it is odd that Nomadic Fanatic would have, you know, water and water leak issue on the very first maiden voyage. I mean, you think they would 
you know, they would cover that, at least take it right back and say, you fix this, right? I mean, it's like driving a car off the lot and realizing there's something wrong with it. I'd take it right back to the dealer and they would make it good. You don't have to deal with that yourself. I mean, you think a couple hours after you buy the thing, the dealer would cover whatever's wrong with it, right? I don't know, man. Uh, uh, Nomadic Dullard also writes, seems like Angela M. doesn't care for Nomadic Fanatic's interior decoration ideas. Well, like Marlo and Mikey, you know, I think Mikey is, at Living Free Mikey is probably taking some time to get used to Marlo's redecoration ideas. Be interesting to see if we have any clashes between Eric and Angela about how to decorate that, that vehicle. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Chris Seliga writes, uh, don't forget the wrestling match with Jacob in Cornelia, which is a little town about an hour north here of Athens here in Georgia. Uh, you could make a fake press release or to get in. You and Barb should go. Um, I got plans tonight. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I did invite Jacob to come down to Athens and I'll buy him lunch either this weekend or some other weekend that he wants to do it. And he said, no, um, I don't know, man. Um, I just feel like if me and Jacob get together, something not good is going to come out of it. And it's probably a good idea that maybe we just uh, keep that hour's distance in between us. You know, I don't know, man. I just have a funny feeling. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching Letters, Letters, Letters for the 15th of March, 2019. Don't forget, uh, Camo Dave, uh, live Saturday, tomorrow morning. That's every Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, oh, if you are in Europe, that's going to be at a different time. Be careful because the United States does yeah Easter it does daylight savings time a couple weeks before the rest of Europe does. So now there's a four hour difference instead of a five hour difference between us and you if you're in Europe. So um, I guess that means we'll come on. What does that mean? We'll come on uh, an hour later. You know, wait a minute. I I can't do that. Anyway, there, it'll be an hour different, either an hour later or an hour earlier. I forget uh, an hour earlier, right? We'll be coming on an hour earlier this week. If you're in Europe. Okay. So if we normally come on at say two o'clock, it'll be one o'clock or one thirty, right? Two o'clock. <laughs> I'm so confused. There's, but for the next couple of weeks, there's only a four-hour difference between Eastern Time and England and a five-hour difference between Eastern Time and Central Europe, not an extra hour. So, yeah, we'll be on an hour earlier if you're, from, if you're watching from Europe, okay? I know I got a lot of fans from Europe, uh, so do watch that, okay? 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but then, yeah, it'll be a different, slightly different. I mean, Hawaii, too. I don't think Hawaii does Eastern Time. They don't do Daylight Savings Time, so now it's a six-hour difference, right? So my show will be on, my show will be on at 3.30 in the morning for you guys. <laughs> That's early. All right, folks. Yeah. All right. Gonna, gonna take a bath in Tandil right now. Vlog under.